friends welcome back to my channel my name is Wolo I live in Winnipeg Manitoba and I share videos about immigrating to Canada life in Canada and anything that's gonna be beneficial to anybody who plans to come to Canada um, we all know what's happening around the world and I hoping that everybody is actually keeping safe and washing your hands and social distancing um, today I actually went to uh, the grocery shop and um, the little bit of social distancing. Everybody is beginning to practice social distancing because everybody is aware and I am hoping that wherever you are, people around you are also aware of what is actually happening around the world. Um, I just hope we keep safe. Yeah, we all want to be alive so that when this thing passes over, we can actually move on with our normal lives. And then I can start talking about how you can immigrate to Canada. Although the express entry draw still continues, but I mean, they are actually focusing on people who are in Canada. That's the Canadian experience class and uh, people who already have provincial nominations as well. So we hope that by the end of April, we should be having good news and good testimonies that this whatever has finally ended and we are back to our lives. So how are you guys doing wherever you are? I hope you are safe. I hope you are self-isolating. Um, yeah, please just stay safe. I need you I need you guys to be alive for yourself because there's a lot to achieve in this life. So please try as much as possible to stay safe. Today's video is more like a complaint. You know, I don't usually complain about Canada. Um, I usually talk about how good Canada is, blah, 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 and stuff like that. But today, I actually want to complain something to you guys. And I hope you just kind of understand the frustration. Although it's not happening to me, but I just feel I should talk about it. And that is, uh, Canada is not making use of its brain gain. And um, there's a lot of brain drain happening from developing countries like India, Pakistan, um, Nigeria, generally Africans, and most countries from Asia, a lot of people want to immigrate to Canada, even developed countries like Europe, so developed countries in Europe, a lot of people want to immigrate to Canada and these professionals, after immigrating to Canada, they start struggling in Canada and that's because um, there are more or less little structures or policies in place to help these people transition into their careers that they are used to in Canada. A lot of things are actually different in this place. Why there are people who actually transition smoothly into their careers based on the strategies that they put in place from their home countries like, you know, getting the licensing. For somebody who is an accountant, you can actually get your CPA from wherever you are in the world and then when you come to Canada, just continue and you can get a job as fast as possible for such group of people they can actually easily start practicing in their profession so they find it easy why there are some other group of professionals who would have to write licensing exams in canada because they are not available outside canada they have to write them in canada they have to do some understanding job shadowing and blah 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 so many things before they can fully practice and this is peculiar for immigrant medical doctors and immigrant medical nurses now um with what is going on in the world there's something that canada announced recently for retired nurses and retired doctors to come back to work to help fight the bio war that is ha actually happening and i was thinking loud to myself that canada has a lot of immigrant medical doctors and immigrant nurses a lot when i mean a lot there are lots and lots of immigrant healthcare professionals in canada who are not able to work as healthcare professionals because they have to go through the hoops of getting a license to practice in canada and i find it very frustrating although it's not me i am not a medical professional or i'm not a healthcare professional but i find it frustrating on their behalf because these guys have spent years in their home country 
and then hoping to add their skills and expertise when they finally immigrate to Canada. But because of the policies in place, they have to like spend years, like five years, six years, and it's so highly, highly competitive to even get your license first before you even start practicing. And because it is so competitive, some of these um, healthcare professionals at the end of the day end up switching careers to something that they did not think of doing in the first place. So I then ask myself, what's the purpose of immigrating if you're not going to work in the profession that you are used to back in your home country? This is where I now find that Canada is not using the brains that they have actually gained from developing countries. You know, if they're actually using the brains that they have gained, we won't be in this situation where there will be need for, uh, for them to be calling retired medical professionals to come back to work, whereas there are actually immigrant medical professionals who are waiting to get their license. So um, it's something that they would have, you know, put in policies in place. I, I just feel that most of these provinces, um, medical bodies, college of medical bodies should create a pathway for immigrant medical doctors to be able to get their license within a short period of time, maximum two years, maximum three years. Let's say, let it be three years. Within three years, an immigrant medical doctor should have gotten his license, should have done the other study, should have done every necessary thing that is needed to be done and should be practicing so that when we have a situation like this that will require medical doctors, instead of looking for people who are retired, you have people already in place to um, help or assist in fighting this bio war. So this is my complaint. It's more like a complaint. I find that you have a lot of professionals who are here and are not able to get into their profession. And that is where I force the immigration system. So you keep this immigration pathway or um, immigration requirements so high, the standard is so high. And then when these professionals eventually come into Canada, they start struggling and most of them end up doing menial jobs. You find a medical doctor driving Uber. You find a medical doctor being a security person. You find a medical doctor who is working in Walmart, who is working in Value Village, waiting to get his license, spending three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, waiting to get his license. And then we find ourselves in a pandemic and all of a sudden, there's a shortage of medical doctors, whereas there are immigrant medical doctors. So this is my frustration. I just feel frustrated for these people. I am not a healthcare professional, but I feel that if the government, if the college or if the healthcare bodies um, that are in charge of licensing are able to put things in place, we won't, we won't be in this situation where they are looking for retired medical doctors, retired nurses to come and work. And for goodness sake, these people are already old and might have underlying health issues. And if they are exposed to what is going on, then they will be victims. They'll become victims, whereas they are supposed to be resting. You know, so this is this is where I, I am kind of, you know, trying to air my own opinion to say, if there is a way after this whole issue is gone, if there is a way immigrant medical professionals can come together and make a proposal to the government or to the licensing bodies to shorten the time that immigrant medical professionals should spend in getting their license before they can practice in Canada. I mean, it is something that the government should look into and try as much as possible to make policies, create policies for this group of people so that they can actually be in their line and then canada gains these brains instead of allowing these brains to be wasting in canada whereas the developing countries that they came from they would have been useful very very much more useful in their own countries instead of coming to waste their time and waste their resources in canada so um it's more like a complaint i hope you guys are safe i hope you stay safe and I hope that this whatever that is going on should end so that we can go back to our normal lives. Um, and I pray that uh, people in developing countries are able to contain 
this issue but please everybody can do his own part by staying safe and practicing social distancing self-isolating and everything so that we can go back to our normal lives um yeah so this is what i want to share today thank you so much for watching and if you feel that i was talking too much please forgive me i just felt like sharing this burden it's a burden in my heart i felt i should share and um, thank you for listening to my rant <laughs> please don't be offended i will be continuing with my question and answer sessions um in my subsequent videos thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye